What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a Pokemon Masters video. Yeah, it's been a while since we've done one of these. Uh, so a new event dropped today, and that is the Rosa Deli Bird. Uh, some kind of holiday event. You know, I started farming it, going okay. Uh, you know, it's pretty fast. You get like 22 tickets for the hard mission or the hard co-op mission. It's really easy. But we're going to talk about Rosa and Deli Bird, and we're actually going to be doing some pulls for her. So the reason I want to pull Rosa is, or Rosa and Deli Bird, is it kind of seems like it's the physical version of Superior, which kind of falls really nice with um, my sync pairs that I currently have. Uh, but for stat wise, you know, it does kind of come in as that like tanky supporter, where it has a lot of defense, uh, pretty good special defense, and a good amount of HP. And as far as, you know, instead of that, you know, buffering special attack, this thing buffs all physical attack, which is perfect, again, for um, Trico, for Sceptile, whatever, and my Lycanroc, which is basically all I use for the most part. And um, it kind of is a straight improvement in a way, too, with the that presence ability. All the presence. Actually, let's go look at the attack. Where is it? All the presence basically fills up the gauge kind of like Sceptile can already do but this will also randomly boost a stat which is kind of odd but hey it's a it's a buff maybe it'll, it'll probably it probably won't do nothing and it'll probably do something and maybe it'll do a lot but uh, either way it's a straight improvement and you know when it comes to like co-op and stuff I feel like I kind of just throw attackers at it you know and you know I don't really have any support so Maybe this will kind of just round out my team in a nice way. So that's kind of like why I'm going for it. And let's just switch to our game. So you do have like this nice background and stuff. And let's just go straight to the shop. It's been a while since we pulled. Last time we pulled for something was Hilda Tepic. And we did get it on one multi pull. So that was pretty lucky. We have stored up to 42,000 gems. I'm thinking that we'll go down to 30 at most uh, or when we get to 30 you know I, I kinda like the idea I don't really plan on ever like spending money on this game uh, so when that next big thing drops I want to make sure I can get that so I want to save at least 30,000 gems for that purpose but let's see if we can't get Rosa and Deli Bird let's see if we can't get lucky alright here we go for our first pull uh, yep, okay, 42,000, all of our savings. Hopefully they, hopefully we don't need to dig too far into them. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's been quite a while since we've done this. There's like so many, um, three, four stars that, since I've never pulled, uh, that, you know, you just have a lot of stuff to get. Not even, you know, five star ones. Like the Kraugano that uh, everyone's using for Mewtwo. To be honest, I don't even really think I have it. And I think that means we did not get a 5 star Blaine and Ponyta. Look, I believe that means it's a new one. Voltorb, we definitely have Voltorb. Okay, level 3. Mina, okay, a new one. Gramble, nice. Ah, oh, I, like, I was trying to remember. We definitely have you. Okay, level 5. Is that Avalog, sure. Blissey, okay. Tate. Where are you? Weeping Bell. <laughs> Another one. Alright, so no luck there. Let's go again. Again, we're, we're gonna do up to four pulls, I think. Or at least that's the plan. Maybe we'll get desperate. I don't know. Actually, probably not. If anything, we'll, we'll farm the event and maybe we'll do another poll in a future video. Come on, let's get something good. There's still a lot of five stars that I definitely wouldn't mind having as well. But uh, the prize is definitely Deli Bird. And I think that was not a good animation once again. Roxy. Uh, at least, come on, let's get at least new ones. Clawitzer, okay. It's new. Avalug. Janine. We'll see you again. All right, man. I feel like we, we really got lucky for Tepig, which and that that thing was pretty um, disappointing. That recoil is just so brutal. When I feel like your opponents just have so much more life than you that to deal, I feel like the percentage damage you deal to yourself is almost the same. 
Come on, give me a rainbow. Ah, oh, isn't this be like? I believe it's seven percent. I feel like we should have gotten one by now. All right, so we got one of those level up tickets. Another one. Oh, that's just for three star. Ooh, clay. Okay, palpitoad. Sure. Do want one of the cryogonals. Ooh, Agatha. All right. Last one, guys. Can we do this? Last pull magic, I guess? All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right. I kind of wish they switched up the animations. You know, I feel like a lot of gotcha games, they do different things to to kind of clue in what you might get. And you're like, oh, this, this, uh, this sequence is good luck. All right. I think that means we whiffed, and man, we went to go through four poles, 40, and I believe it's 7%, right? I think that's quite unfortunate. I feel like this is the um, kind of like evening out our, our great luck for Hilda, although I really don't. I'm not that happy with it at all. Ah, oh, gosh. Let's see, where can I find the yeah, offering rate? Yeah, 7%, come on. Oh, wow, okay, so actually, while they do have increased rates, it's the same thing. Oh, I don't have a Karen yet, that would be nice. I definitely don't want another Tepig, so that would be this, like, if I go one more pull and then I don't get the, and I get the Hilda instead, like, I feel like I'd rather get almost any other new sync pair or any other sync pair rather all right let's go one more definitely going much further than i was hoping to come on at least get something come on. Ooh, all right i see a lot of rainbow action this is gonna be it oh okay so they do that all right well, i didn't know what i was talking about i don't summon enough on this game here we go come on let's get multiple we're due for multiple. All right, Blissey, level five, all right, whatever. Ooh, Lorelei. Oh, that's our first Lorelei, nice. Always a big fan of Lapras. Ah, Karen, okay. Karen is a good consolation prize. We still have a good amount of things to look through and maybe we're gonna get very fortunate, but um, if nothing else, I'm pretty content with Houndoom. And I'm still not done farming the Mewtwo, so I guess that could help there, although... I don't, oh, here we go! And we got the Bryson. <laughs> Alright, so th th these are good consolation prize. I feel like I'm just as happy about both of them, to be honest, when it comes to finishing up the Mewtwo event. Two cannon. Let's see, come on, come on. I didn't really count. Uh, this might be it. Oh, wow! All right, that, that's another good constellation prize. So we still didn't get the Deli Bird, uh, but we did get the latest uh, Grimsley Lipar, the newest one, and I think that's another Dark type. Cool. I think uh, Grimsley wasn't that great, but hey, now we got two Dark five stars, so we can't complain too much. You got two five stars. We got the Cryogonal finally, so we'll take that, and uh, we'll call it. Uh, we'll call it here. Twenty-seven thousand. You know, maybe towards the end of the event, basically around New Year's. If if this deli bird proves to be super useful from now until then, we'll go back in for more polls. So, uh, but we're gonna call it here. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. Um, is anyone still playing this game? If so, tell me how you're doing and uh, let me know how your polls are went. If you went for deli bird, I know Saitama on Discord. Shouts to you. Uh, did manage to pull it, so congratulations on that. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.